Washington, D.C. in The Walking Dead. Washington, D.C. shows up all the way back in issue 53 of The Walking Dead. In that issue, Rick and the survivors meet Abraham and Rosita, who are traveling to D.C. at the behest of Eugene, who claims there's a cure for the zombie outbreak somewhere in the city. We find out later that Eugene is lying, but the journey to the city begins a period of expansion in The Walking Dead that leads to the discovery of places like Alexandria, The Hilltop, Kingdom, and others, and introduces threats like Negan, The Whisperers, and now The Commonwealth. Rick had never been to Washington, D.C. before this, and probably never would have, if not for the appearance of Aaron and his invitation to join Alexandria in issue 67. The group diverts from Alexandria and into the city limits of D.C. itself for a brief moment to rescue a supply run. And then in issue 74, Alexandria resident Heath heads into the city with Glenn, during which we can see the Washington Monument in the background. Though D.C. is relatively close to the action in All Out War and the Whisperer War, there hasn't been any meaningful amount of time spent in the city and with the survivors living inside it, making Overkill's The Walking Dead our first real meaningful trip inside the ruined capital. In the game, you can choose between four playable survivors, Heather, Grant, Aiden, and Maya, as they fight and forage through the streets and shadows of abandoned landmarks to survive another day. The usually pristine and bustling United States Capitol has been transformed into a terrifying and lonely war zone. The events of the game take place early in the timeline of The Walking Dead, several months before the governor's attack on the prison. Actual neighborhoods and landmarks have been recreated inside the game with loving detail, showing what could happen to the most heavily defended city in America in the zombie apocalypse. Your journey begins in Georgetown, a relatively tranquil section of the city now a neighborhood under siege by herds of walkers. This section of the city, home of Georgetown University and the popular M Street shops and restaurants, is full of traditional American architecture, small townhouses, and low commercial buildings. So, as you explore the city, you'll note that foliage and nature haven't started taking over yet, but the effects of widespread looting and violence are apparent everywhere you look. Here, you'll fight through backyards, scour storefronts, and scramble over the rooftops of abandoned businesses to try to survive. From Georgetown, your adventure will continue throughout Washington, D.C., both on the streets and below, and no place is truly safe. Abandoned industrial areas are great for loot and potentially setting up a camp, but there's a lot of dark places for zombies to lurk, and there's the constant threat of noxious chemicals. They are a constant threat and require you to be on alert with your guard up at all times. If you can deal with the creepy, utter darkness of the metro tunnels, you can keep out of sight from any human enemies. But your exits are limited and you can easily get trapped down there. You'll need all your skills and teamwork to survive as you venture further from your cozy beginnings at Georgetown into the increasingly dangerous and dilapidated outskirts of town. You'll explore the gutted Founders Square shopping center in Foggy Bottom, and later sneak and stab your way past walkers in DuPont Circle. By the time you find yourself battling up the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, you have nearly completed a full tour of post-apocalyptic DC. This November, the apocalypse of The Walking Dead comes to Washington, DC. Take in the sights and all the details and assemble your squad to fight the living and the dead to bring hope to a city of survivors. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to buy Overkill's The Walking Dead, out now for PC on Steam. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this, and of course subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.